Hi everyone, so this is actually a part two to a series. This is going to be how to actually animate your uh, keynote slide for your end slate. So if you guys want to know how to actually come up with this design, please go ahead and check my previous video. I'll definitely try to put it in the description of this video. So now it's the fun part and it's time to animate. So first thing I want to throw out there is that a lot of social media doesn't allow you to animate their um, icons and you must use the newest icons under their specifications so definitely be sure to do that <clears throat> and I think I've done it here for the best of my knowledge so what you could do instead is animate your name so what I'm gonna do is since these are two little elements here I'm gonna try to um, kind of bond these together so just want to click this and then oopsie you need to click both of them if you can. And for me, it's gonna be a little hard. Okay, scratch that. What we're gonna do first is I'm gonna animate the subscribe button. So I'm gonna click on all three of these elements because I made it myself. Right click and click group. This is gonna allow you to animate it yourself. Then go to animate and build in and click add an effect. And here is where you can kind of figure out whatever you want to have it be at. So, Let's see, we can do a couple of different things. We could do flip. Um, I always get rid of the bounce. And then I could do action and I could have it either bounce, jiggle, pop, which I think I'll do pop. And I'm gonna change the duration. Maybe we'll do. Whoa. <laughs> um. Hmm. I think we'll do jiggle and we'll do small intensity. And change the duration. Kind of like that. Okay, and then these, what we could do for this is we could do build in, add an effect, and I'm gonna do move in from the left. I'm not gonna have it bounce, so I'm gonna have it kind of go like that. Um, so I think that's kind of a cool start. And then what we could do is, let's see if we can bond these. See, I'm having problems with getting these two elements together, oopsie. Um, but yeah, I guess we can't really do anything about that. Um, what we could do is animate them both separately. So just click on the text first and go to animate and build in and do it however you want to kind of have it build in. So let's see, um, we could do, um, Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cool right there. Okay, so then I'm going to add another action and I'm going to have it, mm, let's see, link and decrease it. There you go. Okay, so now we just have to build order this whole thing. So you wanna go to build order and you wanna kinda of just like figure out how you want it to come in. So I'm gonna have it um, move in, um, flip, and uh, cube all at the same time. So you just wanna go here and let me see if I can make this smaller. You wanna make sure to click on after transition and give it a little bit of a delay. So I like to do 0.3 seconds and then go with build one and with build one. This might be confusing, just play this area back again and kind of figure it out. So then preview it, and so that's what it's gonna look like now. So then this one we wanna do after, and this one we wanna do after build four. So then when we preview it, 
it kind of looks like that. Now, if there's other elements that you would like to uh, kind of do, like if you wanted to animate these here, what we could do is do that and add an effect, move in. I'm going to do from right, not bounce, like that. And then add an effect, move in, and do the same thing. Add an effect, move in, right, preview. Now we just have to time these in here. So I'm going to do move these all up here. And I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to do after build three. This one's going to be after build four and this one's going to be after build five. So it's going to look like this. Jiggles and then it's going to blink. So that's pretty much how you animate it. So now how to export it, you go to file, export to QuickTime. And then we're going to go ahead in and do these settings and click next and then title it however you want and it's going to create the movie. Okay, so that's how you animate an end slate. Now check my next video for how to actually add the video in your video editor.